Hey everybody, welcome back to Rhino Fishing TV. Before I get started in today's video, I want to welcome you to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. I appreciate it and I appreciate every one of you watching. Okay, so today's video is going to be about me taking a few things out of boxes. And uh, I ordered a couple of things recently and they're fishing related so I thought I'd uh, do those unboxings with you. So what we got here are a couple of boxes and I'm going to open up this big one first. Let me get my knife. And if you watched my last video all the way to the end, you might have a good idea of what this is. I'm a little bit concerned about the damage down here at this end of the box, but hoping for the best that when I open it up there won't be any any major damage there. Anyway, I reset my camera up so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. This showed up quick. I ordered it from Austin Canoe and Kayak. And so far it looks pretty good. So what it is, it's a replacement for the hog trough little bump board I broke the other day when it fell out of my truck when I came home from fishing. And uh, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. No cracks or anything. So the only thing that I'll do to it is uh, I'll take a black Sharpie and highlight the the increment lines here. It has quarter inch increment lines and they're much easier to see when you take pictures of it if you've blackened up those lines a little bit. I compete sometimes in online bass tournaments with, uh, with a group called the National Bass League. I'll put the link to them down below. And this is one of the approved bump boards that you can use to measure your fish before you post it up to compete in their tournaments. So I needed a replacement for that and glad it came in. ACK.com all right, all right. The other box I got today was from Carl's Bait and Tackle, formerly known as Mystery Tackle Box. And as I'm opening this, I'll explain why I placed an order with them. So when they rolled out Carl's Bait and Tackle, they also offered a club membership that was going to be a hundred bucks for an annual membership. And I thought that was too expensive, uh, too expensive for me to to jump on. The club membership basically got you 30% off, I think, on most of the stuff that was in their shop. But $100 was still pretty steep for me. Uh, but then they kept sending me emails knocking the price down. So then it went to $59, I think, which was tempting. And then they lowered it to $49 a couple of weeks ago. And I even loaded some stuff up in my shopping cart there and was getting ready to pull the trigger. And I was like, no, nah, it'll just take me too long to make up that 50 bucks. And then they sent me an email with a code on it that dropped it down to $39. So somebody do the math and leave me a comment down below. How much tackle will I have to buy at regular prices before I make up 39 bucks for the annual, annual fee? Uh, but anyway, they were offering some things that I'd been interested in lately. And so I thought I'd go ahead and pick them up. So in addition to the $39 membership that I bought, I got two packs of Biospawn Bile Bugs. Uh, they're new Biospawn baits, and they look really interesting to me. That thing getting into focus here. That one you're looking at, the color is Candy Grass. And I also got a pack of June Bugs. But they look really nice. Tackle Junkie's been promoting these things pretty hard lately, and I really like the packaging. They've got one kind of broken out here off to the side so that you can like really, really get a good look at it, and then the rest of them are stacked up inside. A nice clamshell packaging, and you get seven total. So I'm pretty excited to, to fish those. I also got another package of these Strike King Rage Tail four inch rage menace scrubs i got a package of them in a mystery tackle box i think the august box i got some and there was only like four i think in that sample pack that i got and i went through them pretty quickly but i caught a lot of fish on them so it made me interested in them enough that i ordered a whole pack of them so there those are the color on these is sungill and there's an eight pack I 
I've been seeing these a lot lately too. I believe they featured these in a mystery tackle box a couple of months ago. They didn't come in my box, but I saw a lot of people reviewing them, the E Eliminator. And these look really nice to me. And the thing that I am most interested in is trying to fish this as a topwater bait. I've seen people doing that, just basically Texas rigging it and then buzzing it on top of the water. And it's getting to be that time of year here where they're gonna start blowing up on things like that. So I can't wait to use that. It's a nice looking bait. I got a pack of culprit ribbon tail worms and I've got a pack in June bug that I really like and I've caught a lot of fish on them but I like this color scheme too and it's basically green pumpkin with a chartreuse tail and I've had good luck with that color combination before in the Berkeley power bait brand I believe so I thought I'd give these culprits a shot and so with my club membership discount these were really cheap you know only a few bucks And then I also got myself a t-shirt with the discount. I think this thing was less than 10 bucks, but it's a it's a nice little MTB shirt. It's on the back. And then I see a, another little packet of stuff in here. Let's see what that's about. Oh, it's a little sc scratch off card. I'll scratch it off here in a minute and a nice sticker for my kayak Get that focus Carl's bait and tackle let me bring the camera down here and we can do this scratch off all right let's see what we got here All right, looks like I got some free shipping off my next order. I'll take that. Ordinarily, I think you have to order $25 or $50 worth of stuff before they give you the free shipping. So that's a good deal. That is it for the unboxing. Thanks for watching. It's Wednesday, so I'm hoping I get out there this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, and do a little fishing. It's supposed to be really rainy the next couple of days, but Saturday and Sunday are supposed to be really nice. Temperatures in the, in the 70s, I think, but sunny. So looking forward to that and we will see you on the water then. Thanks for watching. Bye.